Side out. So the game of singles so critical from the serve return zero, zero. and also the third contact. Yesterday Side we saw out. mixed doubles. Kyle, you got to get us back up to speed in terms of singles. What are some of the things you have to keep in mind in the game of singles? Yeah, so more of the strategy is really zero, zero. just on the first few shots. So they're thinking about where to place that serve, where to place the return. Always looking to be deep, but within that, you're choosing between which corner or sometimes going middle to take Point. the angle away from your opponent. One, zero. Point. Yeah, we mentioned the short angles that Brasha has. She went for one right there, but we also mentioned that reach and that ability to move forward that Jansen has. So Brasha's going to have to be careful not letting her comfortably move forward throughout the entire match. 2-0. Jansen began, began playing the game of tennis at about eight years old, also as a volleyball player. Oh, you're talking about a short angle. That thing barely skidding off the top. Yeah, great job by Jansen, too, not settling for the backhand, using her footwork to run around and going inside out with that forehand. I'll recall. 3 0. Point. And Time out. immediately, it looks like kind of trying to bring Four Mary zero. Rasha up to the net. Yeah. And that's just out of bounds, but you can start to see once Mary Brasha gets those dialed in, she's going to have a few points coming her direction. Yeah, certainly the right intent when Jansen is moving forward, just unable to convert. Oh, chase, and it still maintains the direction of Jansen. The Jansen up 6-0. And to your point, Maggie and Mary are playing in this event as the 11th seed. Later on today, for women's pro doubles. Six zero. Side out. Yeah, much better depth on that return there from Mary Brasha, uh, especially when she's going to stay back. It's really important to not just invite Jansen forward on an easy approach shot. Zero six. The forehand cross court. Yeah, no, so she took the, the backhand roll cross, realized she hit it well, instantly was looking to close forward, and she got the high ball for the put away on that nice little combo there. That's actually a really tough shot, too. Running in, finding the forehand, and then being able to pull that back across your body. Great shot. What? Replay. Is there one set? Replay. Leah Jansen has just been a menace on the singles court. 25 total medals. In her corner. And so she's alone. Point. Two of those gold, 15 silver, and eight bronze. And especially lately, she hasn't had a lot of you know, what we call bad losses. She's really been beating everyone that she's supposed to be beating very consistently uh, throughout this year. Side out. Another side out for Jansen. Again, great ball striker from the baseline. You can see the amount of power. She's also very forceful to get to that kitchen line. You can feel her presence as she's coming to the net. Yeah, and even though Brasha lost that point, I like that she's willing to move forward. Sometimes you have to put your Six opponent two. to the test and make them come up with a tough pass. Yeah. What a shot Point. from Leia Jansen. The two-hand backhand is money right now. In 2023, Leia has had 11 medals across the discipline. Point. Time out, receiver. Eight, out two. By Mary Brasha here, down by six. You see Jesse Irvin and Leia Jansen playing together. Point. Leah Jansen continues to just be pinpoint accurate. 
Yeah, I'd like to see, it seems like Brush's comfort zone is returning and staying back. I think that's fine. But I think she needs to take more risk on the return to not allow Jansen to dictate on that very first ball. Point. Right now, Jansen is just stretching Mary Brasha from right to left. And, you know, if you've been watching Jansen for a few years, the progression of her singles game, really the difference, I think, in the last year is her commitment to move forward. She used to get flustered a bit when she would get passed. Now she's more okay with kind of playing the long term. Right There it is for Mary Brasha. Took her three strikes, but ultimately she finds the third. Yeah, I think that's the better style is not necessarily to go for the winner right out of the gate, but force your opponent to stretch for a couple of volleys. The passing shot will often develop naturally if you approach it with that mentality. One. Turn around and goes, Woof, I got away with one. <laughs> yeah, certainly higher than she was going on the pass, but higher than Jansen was expecting as well. Exactly. Ooh, Works in her favor. <laughs> Side out. Yeah, it looked wide in, in real time to me. I was surprised that it looked like they were playing on, but I believe Brasha with the correct out call. There it is again, the forehand cross point. Yes, sir. Five in, six ten. Point. 7-10, Mary Brosh is starting the climb. 7-10. Yeah! Come on! knows she just needs one more point to pick up game number one. Ten seven. Extremely difficult shot, running one way and then playing the pass across your body the other way. Hit it perfectly. Seven, ten. Yeah! And that was an amazing volley right there from Leia Jansen. What an angle. Yeah, she's really good at carving her volleys with a little bit of backspin for those short angles. Better than most uh, on tour for sure. Ten seven. And another yeah. forehand cross court. Yeah, and I don't mind what Jansen did. She tried to slice her approach shot, give herself a little bit more time to move forward. But as we've talked about before, when you give your opponent backspin, it gives them the ability to use seven, that to ten. generate more topspin for their angles. Galea was going to give her a couple on the forehand, but nonetheless, she is finding success on both sides at 8 to 10 now. And I'm impressed with her movement, and she really appears to be balanced, eight, even as these points uh, go on and on.
Yeah, the return of serve may be the most important shot in singles. When you can pin your opponent deep in a corner, it makes it really tough to, to have a high percentage option from your perspective. Ten, nine. over and over again. Sometimes you want to be a little bit more selective on which ball you come in on, and that's credit to Brasha and how well she's playing at the moment. That's just a great play right there from Leia Jansen. She was well prepared for the cross-court forehand and then finishes it out on the backhand side. 10-9. I believe that ball was good. It was a little tough to tell. So another right side out. out for Mary Brasha. Yeah, it looked like Jansen put the, the finger up to say out, and then she looked at it and was like, oh, good. I think that did catch the court. Amazing shot with her back against the wall from Brasha. 9-10. And applying her oh. pressure. It is now 10 all. It was looking like all Leia Jansen here in game number one, but Mary Brasha with great ball striking has got herself back into this. Must ten, win ten. by two. Again, not just the ball striking, but amazing movement between points. She's hitting these shots, Cameron, on the dead run. Cameron to the six seed. It's a long Mary Brasha here. The women's single semifinal action just picked up the first. Well, one of the best comebacks we've seen all weekend long. Yeah, looked like she was down and out, but not so. She got hot at the right time and stole that first game away from Jansen. Come on! So, adjustments for Jansen. Are there any? Yeah, no, I think uh, to some degree it's just too good from, from Brasha, but I think that uh, the movement between the points from Brasha, that can be exploited if um, Jansen and Bali occasionally back behind her or occasionally bringing her in short, but bringing her in on her terms. We've got in there and still comes up with a solution. Yeah, for sure. Jansen put just a little bit too much air under that ball to allow Brasha to still take a full cut once she came forward. She's really looking for Brasha to be on the stretch coming there forward and playing one of those more cat and mouse style points. So maybe a few more volleys behind her to the point as well. So watch for that. Are you kidding me? Oh. Mary Brasha. That's just mean. That was a mean rocket, Mary. Rocket for <laughs> down the line. I like that mean Mary. Uh, <laughs> she's anything but too. That's why it's funny. <laughs> Sometimes, honestly, you just say too good, you move on, and you, you play the next point. Two, one. Side out forehand definitely fooled Jansen. She was trying to get all the way to the kitchen line. Maybe needed to split step a second sooner, but either way, amazing play right now from Brasha. She is red hot. Hey. That's a great strike right there from Leia Jansen. Maybe that's going to be what turns the, the table here. Really going for that return. That's tough. Yeah, she's certainly capable of, of creating a run on her own. Well, three serve, one four. Russia. 
Walker her Sunday debut on the Carvana PPA Tour. Guarantees her first PPA medal in any discipline. Two, four. Again, that was all set up by the ability to dip and roll that first passing shot, forced Jansen to hit up, and then Brasha was quick to close in and take the next ball out of the air. There. Little taste of Brasha's own medicine again, setting that up with her own uh, cross court backhand roll. Three, four. No, it's, it's, it's an unreal shot. And oh. Jansen tried to not give that to her. If you look at her yeah. approach shot, she went straight middle to take the angle away. Because right now, the moment she's giving Brasha angle, she's paying the price for it. Brasha made a couple of amazing stretch volleys herself, but Jansen just too tough eventually gets the pass up the line. Two, four. Flash, three, four. Two, four. Two, four. Additional advantage. You saw the Jansen was trying to do the same thing on her approach, just go dead center and then open up the court with the first volley. Within Newland now is Jansen on game two. Men's doubles action also taking place on Four, three. the outer court coverage. You'll find that. People are doing that. Right now. Also learned so much more about this fantastic tour. With 20 total stops in 2023. So many chances to see these great pros, whether three, it's in four. person or online or on TV. Yeah, we mentioned bringing her in short was another play. Um, handled that one perfectly, didn't pop that up at all. Stayed very close to the net. Clean win. Tied up at four apiece, even four, four. four means you serve from the right. Side out. Good depth on that return from Brasha. Four, four. Wow. Again, give her a little four. bit and she'll just take it off. Yeah, she has so much control with that two-handed backhand and her ability to take pace off and just shape it cross court, like we talked about, is really her superpower in singles. Yeah, she's keeping the ball in front of her. And again, we saw the adjustment. She's starting to still move forward, which I like to see. Um, but she's trying to take the angle away from Brasha and just kind of put herself in that positional advantage and let the chips fall where they may. 
So if you're continuing to attack kind of that middle, it is challenging. You've got to focus on the, the right and the left. I mean, how do you set yourself up in terms of kitchen play? Do you lean one way? Do you, do you kind of fake one way? What can you do at the kitchen line? Well, I think the standard is that you don't, right? And then from there, that's where kind of reading your opponent and understanding their patterns can come in. You can make little calibration adjustments based on the tendencies of your opponent. That's a good calibration right there from Rebecca <laughs> Jansen. The second drop volley we've seen for a winner. Yeah, great footwork there on that uh, on that volley to stay out of the kitchen. Yeah. Oh. Even leaning back on that one, adding tons of topspin is Jansen. Yeah, and both these these athletes are having success when they're passing in combination. Again, stretched Brasha for the first pass, got a slightly shorter reply, and that really opened up the court and opened up the angle uh, on the second ball. Five, five. And Lee Waters awaits the winner of this on Championship Sunday. timeout call. This is a good sign for Leia Jansen as she now not only Six has the five. advantage but forces a timeout. Mary Brasha ended up dropping several points consecutively to have Mary Brasha with a full comeback right now. So it's a grit here with an advantage in game two. Yeah, another just beautiful pass there by Brasha. I don't mind the approach shot by Jansen. Normally when you hit up the line it's another way to take some angle away but the cross court passes of Brasha have been on this entire match. This <laughs> is where we're no longer surprised. I mean, uh, that's like a remarkable shot, but you just, yeah, here you go. It's Mary Brasha. <laughs> six, six. Side up. Again, you start to see the, prow the prowess of Leia Jansen up at the kitchen line, especially that backhand side. I love the way she can cut that ball back cross court. Yeah, and I think the difference on this last one that we for is that she went cross court but shorter. And that didn't allow Brasha the same ability to hit that two-handed pass. Point working those feet hard to find the forehand. Baseline, and you can see Mary <laughs> facing the video board, trying to hit the reset. Yeah, and you're, if you're a fan of Jansen, you gotta like the, the positive communication, the positive self-talk that she's doing between the points. Brasha herself bringing Jansen in just a little bit shorter, putting her on the full stretch and then having an easy put away on the next ball. Nonetheless, she trails by two as the sun shines. Point. Make it a one point advantage. Seven, eight. And there it is again. I think that's the best target for Jansen for her volleys right now. Not just to the backhand side, but short to the backhand. If she can get Brasha to have to take that left hand off the paddle for more reach, really is out of her comfort zone hitting those passing shots. Eight, seven. Credit. That looked like a different shot coming from Mary Brasha. She didn't necessarily have the same finish 
See how she crosses and actually finishes over her left shoulder so often when she's trying to find that much spin, she'll finish Seven, back over that right shoulder. So very deceptive on that strike. Yeah, went a little bit flatter. Oh. Yeah. Fight out. Eight, seven. Point ball for Jansen. So funny because in the game of Time out, receiver. Nine, nine, seven. <laughs> you have to be mentally tough exactly. and you know, ready for uh, anything and everything. Nine. Point. <laughs> nice discipline there by Jansen. I think that she really has to make sure that every time she's approaching, she's either approaching up the line or middle to take that angle away uh, from Brush on the pass. The game point for Leah Jansen. Fight out. And as a reminder, this is where Mary Brush did her damage in game one. Faced numerous game points. Seven, ten. One back here. Yeah, just another really high level pass from Brush and not a bad return. I like that Jansen is moving forward, but she's being stretched constantly when she's up at the kitchen. Eight, ten. That was a tough one for Jansen. Wasn't ten, ten. stretched like she was on the others. Very makeable volley. She's gonna have to bounce back here. Yeah. Mary Brasha with number 11. Oh. Match point for Magic Mary. She seems to play her best pickleball down match points. This is uh, pretty impressive here. Down game points right now. Playing to make her Sunday Love debut. Ten. I'm nervous for both of them. That was so clutch from Jansen. Pushed into the backhand corner, played a beautiful role, trusted it, and then moved forward on the next ball. Jansen has some work to do. 10 11. Beautiful play right there. Two great contacts in a row, finding the sideline and the baseline all at the same time. 11 all, must win by two. 11 11. find 13. And again, same pattern. She's stretching Jansen for the first one, not going for the clean pass, and then letting uh, the court open up uh, after the first ball. Mary Brasha finds match point yet again. 12-11. Slide out. She had an opening, Cameron, <laughs> just pushes it a little bit wide. So Jansen earns the right to serve. This is an absolute <laughs> slugfest this morning. 11-12. Inside a pickle with your coffee. Find the 12. 
she had a couple of point of shots in that point where she had to guess. She guessed right, kept the ball in front of her, and that is huge for her to knot things up here at 12. hands battle in women's pro singles at the 12-11 mark. That was oh, mad. Oh. <laughs> That's just nuts. Top, 13-12. Yeah, she's really had some crisp volleys the last couple of points, and that's what it's going to take when your opponent is passing as well as Mary Brasha is. This is where you might kick the ball a little extra second, get yourself reset, <laughs> grab your breath. Create another little half timeout for yourself. 13-12. Jansen looking for game three. Survives in the seconds. Figuring it out first, Mary Brasha. Point. So Kyle, I, I don't even know if it's a game of adjustments. We've seen some from time to time that I think the biggest is the approach shots from Leia Jansen and Mary Brasha just fighting, especially late in One, these zero. games, facing game point multiple times. Forehand volley, Mary Brasha. When we talk about the pickleball IQ, Brasha saw that Jansen took the left hand off the paddle like she was going to slice, and she cheated forward and Zero surprised one. Jansen on that occasion. And we're already seeing a little bit of the adjustment from Brasha here, where you know she's been hitting those great passes, but she's looking to occasionally dip the ball and move forward a little bit earlier to keep her from having to come up with those amazing shots on the dead run. Flat out. Russia was trying to roll that and move forward. We've seen a little bit of that this match. I've really been impressed with just the discipline in the game plan, the willingness to make adjustments from Jansen. Uh, we've talked about how amazing some of the shots that Brasha has come up with, but Jansen was able to stay mentally tough, fight off a couple match points, we'll see what she can do. Again, trying to move forward, returning and coming in. She's mostly been staying back and trusting her ground strokes uh, throughout this match, but she's feeling the need right now to make some adjustments. Selective on when she moves forward, um, trusting her ground strokes, but not getting passive, not getting too Zero careful four. when she's back at the baseline. Yeah! A big two hand backhand from Leia Jansen, earning another side out. 
Most recently, Leia had found herself at the North Carolina Open in the final against Annalie Waters. She ended up taking silver in the last Carvana PPA Tour stop. Four zero. If she were to win here, she would have another shot at Annalie Waters in the final. process here in game three again, right? Just feeling out exactly what the other is going to be bringing to the table. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of variety. We're seeing a willingness to move forward at the right One times, four. but not pressing and panicking and moving forward too quickly. Pickleball court is not big, but these ladies are covering every inch of it at the moment. Definitely getting their steps in here this morning, Kevin. Come on, I'm tired just watching. Two, four. important to note, I mean, even after this semifinal, these two have a full day of women's doubles action. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is, is their warm just up. the beginning of their day. This is their dynamic warm up right here. I think this is more than dynamic. <laughs> This is a very, very high level match for a lot of reasons. Not just the execution, but the problem solving, the adjustments. They're, they're playing aggressive, but they're giving each other uh, a good amount of variety Three, where neither player can get fully in rhythm at the moment. from one and two, now they're picking up on, okay, hey, Mary's been hitting this cross court winner, five. so that ball's being picked up. So now the, the succession of the scouting report is really fun. <laughs> and Mary tying things up here, five all in game three. Well, I think honestly, just that that idea of giving your opponent a different look. Okay. So um, she's the backhand, the backhand has been dialed in the last three or four points since she's made that run to tie it up. I think also when you approach up the line, it takes away some of those angles. In addition to going middle, okay. when you go cross court, you're giving five, five. more angle to your opponent. We've seen how much Mary Brasha uh, enjoys those those angles. Oh, 
she waited for that cross-court ball, then approached on it. Yeah, and she approached more middle to take the angle away. She had the volley that she wanted, just a little bit of a miss. Five, five. Good matchup. I don't know if we expected this. No, it certainly exceeded my expectations for a variety of reasons. And I think that beast mode sign is about perfect because <laughs> both of these ladies have been in beast mode from start to finish. This might be one of my favorite singles matchups of the year so far. Agreed. 12 10 in the first. Mary Brasha was down 2 to 10 in that before taking game one. Yeah, Jansen had game point multiple times in the second, and then Mary Brasha came storming back yet again, and then all of a sudden, Leia Jansen picks up the second at 14-12, and here we are in the third, just a one-point game. Mary now up by two, 7-5. 7-5. Just with how well Brush has been playing from the back of the court. And to the point, yet again, Mary Brush is taking the second hand off that backhand side. Yeah, once she does that, you know that she's going to be playing more of a touch shot, very much to Jansen's favor if she can execute. Six, eight. Good depth on that first volley from Brasha. And again, I'm, I'm enjoying seeing her commitment to make adjustments and move forward when the match gets tight. She's had so much success from the baseline, but sometimes moving forward forces your opponent to do something a little different. solutions in game two. Yeah, easy to, to make the adjustments from here. It's a lot tougher when you're on court, but Jansen's done a good job of uh, you know, playing within herself, but still you know, making those adjustments as needed. Oh, man. Nobody wants to see that. Not even Mary wants to see that. That's tough. I mean, you hope it's I was going to say, I may line, disagree with you. But... <laughs> Maybe I have no shame, but I'd certainly <laughs> take it at this stage in the match. Eight, six. That's a big time strike right there from Leia Jansen, a foot off the baseline. Great point. Open stance and a good finish. Yeah, really not a bad approach by any means from Brasha, just too good from Jansen. Taking that ball out of the middle of the shoulder ankle, there was much room to the sideline. That one was a little bit more on her body. Yeah, you can't create as much when you're volleying from the middle of the court. Um, got maybe just a, a teensy bit greedy there hey, that volley. You can start to feel it. I mean, this is wearing on both of these athletes. I mean, we talked about testing the cardio, both of them well up to the task. But at this point, your leg, no matter how big you are, your legs are you one time burning time. with this style of play. The elongated so points, the scores alone, I mean, they are truly being tested. Sign up. 
Yeah, this is the time to dig deep, not just mentally, but physically at this point. The singles pickleball is extremely physical. Um, this is where the stamina and everything, all that off-court time is really putting, being put to the test. Mary Brasha with number nine. That's the first time we've seen uh, Mary go right at Jansen. Uh, right straight at her for the first ball and then opened it up with the second pass. Huge point for her. Nine, six. Time in, 10-6. Match point for Mary Brasha.